Hey guys, it's AA Flyer 777 here, and today I have a 1400 scale airport update on my model of Boston's Logan International Airport. Uh, I do want to apologize. I realize it's been a very long time since I made an update. I just have had no time to put the airport together and do one, so I do apologize for that. But on the bright side, there's lots of new models to show you guys, so uh, hopefully that'll make up for it. So anyways, we're going to start right here, runway 27 left, have our Delta Airlines 767-300ER, it'll focus, there it goes, um, departing for London Heathrow. Have a JetBlue A320 in the um, blueberry's tail uh, with non-stop service to uh, San Francisco. And, uh, whoops, I didn't put the GSE out, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we have our United Airlines 757-200, non-stop service to uh, Chicago O'Hare. Southwest Airlines 737-800, service to Baltimore Washington International. Delta Airlines 767-400 in the breast cancer livery with service to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Uh, it's kind of weird seeing such a big plane. Um, these planes used to be like exclusively on London. Um, that's where they were last summer. and. Um, there must have been an increase in demand for Paris flights because um, Delta's running 400s on that route now, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, this is the first time we've actually had multiple 400s. Um, so we have one 764 to Paris and another 764 to uh, Amsterdam on the second daily, which is kind of cool because I love seeing this plane. Um, so uh, that's really cool. Uh, we have a United 737-900 with service to San Francisco. Um, United Express E145, still wearing the uh, Continental Express colors with service to Cleveland. Uh, Delta Airlines MD88 with service to Detroit. Uh, Delta Airlines MD90 um, service to Atlanta. Uh, Southwest Airlines 737-700 with service to, uh, uh, we'll say Denver. Spirit Airlines A319 in the, uh, I guess the older livery, um, with non-stop service to, uh, Cleveland, or, uh, not Cleveland, um, I just did Cleveland, so I don't want to do it again, uh, we'll say Myrtle Beach, uh, and then this is a cool new model, uh, we have the, uh, American, U.S. Airways, technically, um, in wearing the, uh, American livery A319 service to Washington Reagan. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, I really like this model. Uh, I was kind of hesitant to buy it, um, but Air Classics did a really nice job with it. Um, it looks really good. And then we have our JetBlue A320 um, in the uh, barcode tail with service to Sacramento. Uh, that's a new route that just started. Uh, I think it's three weekly. Um, kind of a weird route, but uh, hopefully they'll do well on it. Um, I know I think JFK does pretty well, so hopefully we'll do good on that one too. Because I kind of like that route. Uh, we'll go over here. We'll do Terminal B first. Uh, so have an American Airlines 737-800. Whoops. I'm sorry. I did a horrible job with the GSE today. I uh, have an American 737-800 about to push back for New York JFK. American 757-200 in the One World Colors. Now stop service to Paris Charles de Gaulle. American 757-200 New Colors with service to Miami. American 737-800, service to Chicago O'Hare. Uh, American Airlines A321, uh, with non-stop service to DFW. Uh, we're currently one daily flight on the uh, 321, which is cool, because um, I'm tired of seeing 737s, so always nice to have something different. Uh, another American 737-800, um, just came in from uh, Chicago O'Hare. It's gonna load up and it's gonna head out to uh, Los Angeles. Then we have our Virgin America Airbus A320 with service to San Francisco. Now I'll move on to Terminal C. Um, have our Emirates 777-300ER with non-stop service to Dubai. Uh, that route's going to go two daily uh, starting in October, which is really cool. Um, and as soon as we get the gates for it, um, Emirates is going to launch A380 service here, which. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome to see that. 
Uh, have another JetBlue A320 with uh, service to Seattle Tacoma. JetBlue A320 in the. Uh, I'm not really sure what they call this livery. Um, it's like they're kind of like their morals and stuff. Uh, the plane's called Blue Manatee, so that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, anyways, now stop service to Orlando. JetBlue A320 uh, Blueberry Sale service to San Juan. JetBlue Barcode Livery A320 service to Los Angeles. Uh, another JetBlue A320 uh, Dots Tail Livery service to uh, Oakland. JetBlue A320 in the Diamonds Tail is going out to Phoenix. JetBlue A320 Barcode um, and Sharklets with service to uh, San Jose. And 10th Anniversary A320 is going to be headed out to um, Fort Lauderdale. Got our Sun Country 737-800 service to Minneapolis. Alaska Airlines 737-900 in the Disneyland livery is going to be headed out to uh, Portland. And then the uh, regular color Alaska 737-800 is going to be headed out to uh, San Diego. So that's it for Terminal C. Now we're going to move on to the International Terminal, Terminal E. And of course this plane is... Oh, there it goes. I uh, have Porter Dash 8 Q400 service to Toronto Billy Bishop. Uh, Iceland Air 757 300 service to Reykjavik. Uh, Alitalia A330 200 to Rome. Lufthansa A340 600 to Munich. Aer Lingus A330 200 service to Dublin. Air France A330 200 uh, service to Paris Charles de Gaulle. That's our second daily flight. Uh, they run two daily, one on the 747 and uh, one on the 330. Uh, we got a uh, Lufthansa 747-400 on our second daily flight to Frankfurt. Um, the first one is on the uh, 747-8, so uh, I don't have that model yet, but hopefully I'll get it soon. Um, and then we have this beauty, the Virgin Atlantic 747-400, service to London Heathrow. Um, very excited Virgin decided to send this plane here this summer, um, especially since this is the last summer for the uh, London Heathrow-based birds. So this is the last time that a uh, Virgin 747 will make an appearance in Boston. So um, I'm hoping to you know, go out and get, see as much of these birds as I can while they're still flying, because uh, I think Virgin and the 747, it's a really good combination. Their livery looks awesome on them. Uh, then we have Air France 747-400, Serge Paris Charles de Gaulle. Uh, also, the last summer for these birds, um, Boston's one of the last destinations that they're still flying these things, mainly because these aircraft have so many economy seats in them. Uh, I don't know why, but apparently Boston has a lot of tourists to Paris. Um, so, anyways, uh, this will be a 777-300 next year, so last, last summer for uh, the Air France 747s, which is kind of sad. Um, and we have our British Airways 747-400, uh, one world livery, uh, non-stop service to London Heathrow. Then over here, uh, hard standing, we have our Turkish Airlines A340-300. Um, it's going to be headed out to Istanbul later tonight. Uh, I didn't put anything in this hangar. Um, sorry guys, I was kind of in a rush to do this one, but I really wanted to get an update out. Um, and we have two Delta A319s in here, um, getting maintenance done on them. Um, they're overnight here. And I'll head back out in the morning. So um, that's just about it for this uh, update. Whoops. I don't think I did this 320. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, this is the US Airways A320 uh, service to Charlotte Douglas. I guess I missed that one. Um, anyways, so um, that's just about it for this update. Uh, I have a couple new models on order. Um, I have those two uh, Wow Air A321s on order. Um, so that'll be really cool, because, uh, wow, this was our f their first North American destination. So I uh, definitely got those. And then I, I have a Air France 777-300, which you guys will see next summer. Um, and then I also have two new color Southwest 737s on order. So um, lots of good stuff coming in. Um, and uh, anyways, uh, I can tell you right now, the airport's only going to get better from here. Um, it's looking really good, much better than it did last summer. Um, the summer's been pretty exciting, lots of new airlines coming in, I'm hoping to get out to Boston pretty soon and do some spotting, uh, I just have not had time with work and everything uh, to get out there, but hopefully I will pretty soon, because uh, Boston's a pretty exciting place these days. Uh, so um, 
that's going to wrap it up. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this update. Again, I apologize for uh, not making one in a while. And um, thank you for watching.